If you ever find yourself in a biochemistry course at any point in your life, it is certain that you will be required to memorize the structures of amino acids. And it can seem daunting at first, especially uh, to those of us who, um, like me, have a really hard time just looking at a really big chemical structure and memorizing the, or we don't have photographic memories, essentially. And what I find works best for me and what I hope maybe might help some other people out is um, breaking things down into mnemonics and uh, utilizing uh, basic knowledge of the nomenclature from organic chemistry to help us understand the uh, structures of amino acids. And to begin with, all amino acids have one thing in common. They all have an alpha carbon. So commonly in a class, um, I do this abbreviation, uh, so C sub alpha, and uh, it will be connected to some kind of carboxylate if we are in a pH at which, um, like 7.5, for example, which is uh, what your bloodstream is. And then uh, on the other side of this alpha carbon, we'll have an amine group, or, uh, NH3, and uh, this will have a positive charge at uh, pH 7. And this alpha carbon will always be bound by at least one hydrogen. And then we will have an R group. So this is the generic structure of all amino acids that exist. And what you'll note uh, is that, and this is a vocab word professors like to toss around, it is called a Zwitter ion. And the reason it's called a Zwitter ion is because we've got a positive charge, sorry, positive charge on this nitrogen and the N terminus of the amino acid, as well as a negative charge on the C terminus side of our amino acid. So collectively, neglecting any charges from the R group, we can say that this overall molecule has a net charge of zero. And so to get down to the mnemonics that I find help me a lot remember these structures is uh, like this. So let's take, for example, uh, Lysine. Lysine has a three-letter code LYS and a one-letter code K. And the way I remember lysine is like this. I call it epsilon and then uh, NH3. So if I can remember this and associate it with lysine whenever I see that, I'll be able to draw the structure. And the way it, I do that is like this. So if we look at a generic amino acid like this, we've got a carbon, and uh, I'll just, I've got some more up my sleeve, but um, I'll just write out the full structure for this one example. Um, another thing I'd like to emphasize is um, when you are memorizing amino acids, it's best to just stick to uh, the R groups because you, you don't need to memorize all of this stuff. It helps condense down the information that needs to go into your working memory, uh, which helps me out. So uh, as we noted previously, this is our alpha carbon, and this will be our beta carbon, our gamma carbon, our delta carbon, our epsilon carbon, and on this epsilon carbon, we will have this uh, another amine group here. And so this is the structure of lysine. Uh, to give another example, and this, uh, let's look at methionine. So we have methionine, three-letter code MET, one-letter code M. And the way I remember it is like this. We've got gamma, a sulfur, and then a methyl group. A methyl group is a CH3 group. And uh, it looks like this. So we will have our alpha carbon here. We know what the rest of this uh, amino acid looks like. And we will have the beta carbon, the gamma carbon, a sulfur, and then a methyl group. And uh, 
continuing, if people are still interested, um, what I did is I made uh, a Quizlet and I put on these little mnemonics on it uh, in case anyone's interested in testing themselves or uh, following along with this. So I'll keep going and uh, just list out the other amino acids that uh, I find tricky sometimes. So we've got arginine, sorry, arginine, three letter code is ARG. One letter code is R, and I call that the delta N amine NH2. So if you can remember this, uh, it helps. So we've got an alpha carbon here, we've got the beta carbon, the gamma carbon, the delta carbon. Then we have a nitrogen, we have an amine, and an amine from organic chemistry is when we have carbon double bond, bonded to a nitrogen, and then we've got another NH2. And uh, if we analyze this nitrogen here, we would have a uh, hydrogen on that, as well as a hydrogen on this. So that's arginine. If we now examine something like glutamine, Sorry. Glutamine, three letter code GLU. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Three letter code for glutamine. And this is uh, a mistake I make a lot. Um, so, with glutamine, uh, we have in biochemistry two uh, amino acids that are quite similar to each other. Uh, glutamic acid and glutamine and so the three letter codes and the one letter codes can sometimes get a little uh, tricky to remember because we have the amine that's why they put an n here and glutamic acid they put uh, an e and so uh, we've got a q uh, for our one letter code and gln is our three letter code the way i remember this is glutamine is the gamma amid sorry Gamma amid. And uh, as we'll recall from organic chemistry, alpha, beta, gamma amid looks a lot like a carboxylic acid, but in place of a hydroxy group right here, we just have uh, an NH2 instead. And so, um, yeah, if you guys uh, find this stuff useful, I do have a Quizlet on this that uh, I'll post in the comments or uh, description uh, you guys can link to. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and hopefully this helps.